Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Wearing this. Wearing this. Isn't this the classic, like, silent film? Oh, yeah, it's a Disney show, too, by the way. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> All the way from Walt Disney. Disney. Uh, the full of curiosity. He's a first visit to a cartoon studio. This is bad. I just met these children and I just that, wanted to. Like, that creepy just... doll finally came to life. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Some furries. So, sorry, you're gonna have to go to Looney Tunes for that. I'd like some booze too. She wants to see pull the chair out. out. <laughs> the house is farting. <laughs> Okay, that's great. Now get out of here, please. We're trying to work. Is that dangerous over there? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, good dancing tango. Okay, now what, what did he give that little girl? A lot of He's trying to kill the cat. It's fucking up. I'll poke you. Oh no, he's part of the Why are all those papers got a danger? Oh. Animal cruelty. Go champion! Is that the beginning of being pussy whipped? Three, two, one. Take your, take my wife name out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> I didn't get it in fast enough. Oh, the staff again. <laughs> the the I don't think that's appropriate for me. Yeah, the oh, what the hell? How did it? What? What? <laughs> Give me the time train. Train. What the it? Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's the little train that defied gravity. Your feet. The hell? I thought she was in bed. It's lying, bitch. They're all gonna beat her up. She's looking at him through a telescope? What? Her eyes for telescope? She was expected. This is not how I remember Alice in Wonderland, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't remember no, all these dogs to do beat her up. I'm a boss, but we just drugs. Why is everyone so happy? Who left their cups? 
Nothing like the woman. Democrats and Republicans getting together, getting along. Uh, I'm seeing music notes. Oh my god, freaking out, man! I'd like to see a death like them. Um, Three Mary Poppins. That's now that's. What, there's no chance that that's what, what I she said. Asked for. Bring out the pole. <laughs> That's a kid! <laughs> she might be a little kid, but she can see the aspiration. Oh, well, done since grown up now, probably dead, so. Yay! I thought hey. you were gonna dance. <laughs> oh, she could be dead. Those guys are way too happy to have a kid dance for them. I'm just saying. Get the fucking lion is out. Like I said, they like a woman. <laughs> they could only get the little girl. Wait, there was Jeez, how many lions were in that cage? What? Freddy Krueger's about to show up. That would make sense. This is a terrible business. Really? Like, they're gonna get that move. That's not what? that's this not sucks. Okay. That's not okay. Okay. We we'll just get to do this. Don't oh, forget your dinner, Brian. Already. I mean, don't you do that before you eat every night? Just in my teeth? I don't know. Nah, she's dead. Definitely dead. I don't know, she's like Sonic the Hedgehog I'm right now. I'm drooling. Can't even run faster than a little girl. Oh, uh, now the keyboard elves are gonna be pissed. I hear they are no match for anyone. <laughs> Wait, is she beating the shit out of a bunch of lions? <laughs> Damn. Well done, girl. Round two. Seriously? <laughs> I don't think I'd be coming back after that. We, we just watched this. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, another hole to jump in. How the hell? Feels good. Man, what's your boy? I'm getting out of here, Doc. Long oh, she's smart. She's got more superpowers than you. Oh, well, I guess she's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! She's like mean... regardless of the situation. You fucking oh. killed her. She, she beat up what all of those man? lions, beat up all the lions, and then jumped off the cliff and committed suicide. I mean, uh, why so can... like getting in. I mean, that sounds like the sixties to me. I don't know. I mean, why couldn't she just beat them up again? I mean. Seriously. Yeah, get in the tree and beat them up. That's. Give us this kind of hold on your own. No, I'm still here, but <laughs> that way when I leave, you won't notice. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Teenagers from outer Rest space. Rest in peace, little girl. That's the little girl. <laughs> she grew up pretty fast, though. The same as my quad. Dr. Mason. Dr. Mason. He needs to adjust his chair. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess it was nothing. A sudden light reflection. It startled me. There's no doubt a comet or a meteor. No. It seemed to be a, a drill-shaped thing. Evolving. 
Uh, no, no. The last movie. What the? Fuck? No, it, it must have been my imagination. It makes me realize how desperately alone. I shouldn't alone have taken all those weed pills. Hanging in space like a speck of food floating in the ocean. So should I. Sooner or later to be swallowed up by some creature floating by. Like a bunch of oh, lions. Oh, come now. Time will tell, Doctor Mason. We can only wait and wonder. And wonder, wonder how. Wonder when. When to and die. Why the is there that? a condom floating through space? That's why you jump to get a condom. All right, we might keep the other bottle in there. Oh, love. Come home! Wait, what? Bless you. <laughs> he just hey, killed the fucking dog! Oh! Oh, man. God, no! This is probably Not our hero. Dog. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, you can't keep everyone alive. That's a teenager. He looks like he <laughs> looks like he's about forty. <laughs> That's the stakes, isn't it? Well, at least they got die-hard batteries. No real will teenager. Um. Yeah. Tastes like M&M's. Just picked up like cow poop. <laughs> I smelled it. Yeah. It doesn't like the M&M's. Alright. I thought you could smell it already. Alright, so so far it's, a, it's an alien teenage sausage party. No, from, maybe they aged? Maybe they were teenagers while they were in outer space, <laughs> but when they got to Earth, like, they just waved rapidly. Well, like, this, this guy be a teenager. He's definitely a teenager. I suppose. I, I can't see that. well. Looks like Wesley Crusher. They can. That's a dog. Oh, I saw that. Kick it. Wait, did all they just go and fucking? Report preliminary findings. Thor reporting. 42 saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Intermediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. Product mixer components ratio exceeding 7 to 1.4. Moral reporting. Diagonal adjustment reading resisting structural forms by 2.8.0 vernum. Saw reporting. Uneven cartoid levels intersect planes below 0.03. It's too late to pet him, kid. No, don't do it. Don't do it. This will make a nice souvenir. Oh, is that a metal? Surface readings register above minimum requirements. Morrow! Go below and bring up the young gargon specimen. 
Guard the decision but... depends on its reactions. Wait, we're, Captain. We're ill I have found evidence see. of intelligent beings on this planet. Of what concern are foreign beings? Of none to you, Thor. <laughs> Just as you were so <laughs> oh, not to you, when Thor. you destroyed this small creature. <laughs> so greatly. It, it was no more than an insect. But it had life. The and that life you mean. had to take satisfy your endless hunger for you killing. Silence! Both of you! Why you she bring the Gargan! That will not be necessary, Captain. Oh, the Captain. Captain! Conditions here will be reported Captain. as unsatisfactory, as they were on the other planets we have charted. By what authority? You will prepare for takeoff. The ship will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations... You may forget the code of operations, Captain. Only civilized it's beings fine. could have made the inscription on this metal piece. Uncivilized we beings. shall not have the thousands of Gargans brought here to destroy them. You have concern for foreign beings over our mission to locate grazing land for our Gargan herds? I already put that Recall! Up. It is yeah, necessary as a reserve food supply for our people. Our people? We live like parts of a machine. Yeah. We don't know our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. It is the one and oh, only so way to maintain the yeah, supreme okay. race. Have you forgotten that? our what people? What is Jesse the Body Ventura doing in this? They have been made to forget for centuries. Blink. But I have learned how it once was. <laughs> Families, brothers and sisters. Blink. There was happiness. There was well, love. Well. Of what do you speak? Of what do you speak? Where have you learned such oh, things? God, I have read. I have read from this book. I discovered it and kept it hidden. <laughs> Somehow it survived the flames of the Annihilators. It's when our people were turned into mechanized slaves. Centuries ago. When we return what to our planet, the High family? Court may well sentence you to torture. And death for this treason. The High Court may judge me after we have torture. accomplished our mission. Of what do you speak? We will find an uninhabited planet to which the herds of Gargans may be shipped without endangering civilized beings. Let me see that book. I am interested I'm to see what sways your mind so heavily. Let me present you Jesus Christ. You may have it. Bring up the Gargan. Gargan. You are a fool, Derek. This yeah. book has poisoned your mind and you shall suffer for it. Captain. If the Gargans oh, so are shipped here, toilet. the inhabitants may destroy them. Between the that possibility the, uh, alone makes it worthwhile to locate an uninhabited planet. Non-believer. <laughs> that book is indeed... I'm non-believer. forget many things. I'm already a non-believer. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. We are the races. Keep him under guard, Thor. And just like I you. I study the reactions of the young Gargan. Bring this high on cook. Stop looking at his group. Before the High Court has you executed, you should be made to watch what happens when we return here with the Gargans. By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times their original size in less time than it takes for the sun to rise and fall. Stop touching me. It thrives, Captain. Already I can feel it has grown heavier. We shall return to our base and the leave Gordon the transport ships lobster? here. Soon this planet will be covered with full-grown gargans. A safe distance from our planet, yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. Repack the instruments. I shall radio back the news of our success. What are you going to harvest? Captain! Captain, something has gone wrong. Look here. What? What has happened? I do not know. It suddenly fell limp, and now does not move. Assemble the T-Rex, it's hooking the gas screen oh, against it. Quick, quick! The atmosphere here tested above minimum but the Gargan species cannot live due to excessive nitrogenic gas compounds emitted in our preliminary diagnosis. It was COVID. Then this planet will be reported as unsuitable? 
Until repack the instruments and prepare for takeoff. We will continue our search in another solar system. And when we return to our home base, you will be presented to the High Court with the evidence against you. Thor, Sol, find the prisoner and prepare him for the isolation chamber. I will make contact with base. Expedition Z06 to base. Expedition Z06 to base. Guard him. I will get the straps. Oh, oh he's get getting better kicking. acting lessons. Lie down. Put your hands behind you. No. No. He said, "Put your hands." Behind he didn't you. even do it. What? <laughs> he did something extra, though. How did he get free? He escaped from Sol. Anything. I could have stopped him. Derek is to be brought back alive. He is the son of our leader. Derek? Really? I reported his actions and was connected with the leader himself. He told me this. He said Derek does not know. As the son of our leader, the High Court will pardon him. He will be pardoned. When the sky is light, we will begin to search for him. Captain, look at this. You mean it's not sunny the out? Garden. There's clearly shadows everywhere. It is not dead. It has revived. Even the sun it flourishes. Shadows. The excessive nitrogenic gas compound shocked its system. Now it thrives on the very same compounds. Then this planet is suitable. Completely. I must resume radio vision contact. Morrow, Saul, secure the Gargan by expandable leg bands. Out of sight in that cave. They really like using the size it attains by the time we return. That's Jesus cave. Will give us an exact growth rate to expect of the herds. At the rate the gargon is expected to grow, what will prevent it from tearing loose the leg bands and escaping from the cave? We shall be back before that happens, unless it should receive food in excess of the atmospheric elements. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. Oh. I just got a notification. Thousands of beasts like that. Two, uh, two Millions of times enlarged. Roaming over this planet. They will be harvested from the air, so there will be no danger to us. Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it. Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to leave the transport ships there. Derek's escape could now mean difficulty in our operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants, inferior though they may be. If we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Leave your best man to find Derek and inform him he is my son. I will join you on the return trip to meet him there. Well, he may be you. stubborn. He has you already threatened our lives. If that becomes you the call case, you son, he... Eric? He must be destroyed. Even if he's... And any beings with whom he might communicate, they must be destroyed. Your orders are complete. I shall send my best man. Guys, someone I heard the orders, saying, Captain. You are my son. Let me come. Yeah, that's how it goes. Come you will wait until the sky <laughs> is light enough to begin the search. We will leave now and return here to meet you when we bring the Gargans. Do not fail, Thor. I shall not fail. I will kill every single Can we put these guys in Dragon Ball Z?
got those sneakers that alien Nike. Space Nike. Uh, that's the baby. Oh yes, is five dollars a gallon? Would would you tell me the meaning of the inscription on this metal piece? Oh, it was it was a Sparky, yeah. 1243 Willowcrest Drive. That's it's just so three blocks down there and a few doors up. You can't miss it. By the way, how do you like my bow tie? Hey, he doesn't what, care. What That's you're doing, man? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to make out what kind of clothes that guy was wearing. Looks like some kind of military uniform. Wonder where he's from. Could be from Mars, for all I care. Hurry up, that boy, will you? I haven't got all day. You had to hit the nail. Hop in, I'll give you a lift. Yeah, I've heard that before. Well, it's a long way into town. Okay, it's all right with me. Wait. Never saw a uniform like that before. What brings you here? I am searching for someone. Maybe I can help you. Know a lot of folks around these parts. I am searching for someone you could not know. I am searching for someone's ass. That's the ass. I Sparky's breakfast out 20 minutes ago, Grandpa, and it's still here. Probably still out chasing gophers. Hello. You found the ass. You've come to see our room for rent? What's oh, that? Nice I found to see the room for rent, Grandpa. <laughs> you shot toy, will you? Joel be by for me in a minute. We're going swimming at Alice's and I haven't even changed yet. Well, oh, come on in. He's just randomly invited someone in. I'm Betty Morgan, and this is my grandfather. Now, how do you do, son? Uh, just arrived in town? Don't believe I've seen you around before. I just arrived. And your name? Derek. Derek. The, the empty room belonged to my brother, Bud. He's married now and lives upstate. Your brother? <gasps> you knew your brother? Did I know my brother? That's a strange question to ask. Grandpa raised us both since we were kids after Mom and Dad died. I'm sorry, I... It's just that I never knew any brothers or sisters. <laughs> Your mother and father decided to play it smart and avoid a lot of squabbles around the house. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> I never knew my mother or father. Oh. Well, let's take a look at the room, and if you like it, you're welcome to stay. It's this way. I'll show it to you. Hey, I thought you were getting ready to go swimming. No, that can wait. Right in here, Derek. I hope you like the view. It's a hole. <laughs> What's the matter? You act like you've never seen the inside of an automobile before. What is this? The gear shift. Where have you been all your life? The gear shift. Tell me what it is for. Now look, mister. I didn't offer you a ride to give no driving lesson. Tell me! Sure, sure. I didn't mean anything. Here's the clutch. When I push it in, See, I change the gear. Low, second, and high. And to hold the vehicle? When I want to stop, I press the brake. Right here. to steal the car, and this? Man. The starter and ignition switch. And the fuel, what does it use? Are you kidding? Gasoline, of course. Here's the gas pedal right Not here. Hmm, it's about time I have the tank fill. Betty and Derek. I asked 
Dr. Mari was from Grandpa, and he just said he was from very far away. I thought she he was did, the huh? alien this whole time. Well, maybe Those he doesn't bangs. like to talk about where he's from. With well, the looks of his like outfit, oh. I'd say he's raised in a private school of some sort. Well, Grandpa, if he just got into town and can't pay the rent until he gets a job or something, would... Well, what do you say, young man? What do you think of the room? You will let me live here with you? Well, sure. <laughs> oh. That's why we had the sign up. Blink, That's lady, why you came here, like a robot. It? Not exactly, I... Derek, I was just talking to Grandpa, and... Well, if you don't have the rent money right away, that could wait until he gets a job, couldn't it, Grandpa? Mm, why, sure, that's all right with me, Betty. But then, if he doesn't like the room... I like it here very much. I would like to stay. Doggy would like to stay, problem. too! My bags? I have nothing else. No other clothes or anything? We were not allowed to. I mean, my uniform is all I have. Gosh, you've got to have That's more like than that. Place. Uh, Bud left some of his clothes in the closet, Grandpa. Couldn't Derek use some of them? Of course, my dear. Bud wouldn't mind a bit, I'm sure. Oh, golly, that's Joe. Put on whatever you like from the closet, Derek. I'll be right back. Make yourself at home. Hi there, Joe. Hi, Gramps. Betty, I'm afraid I can't make the swimming date. Not till later, anyway. Got a sudden assignment for the paper. Oh, gosh, what now, Joe? I have a list of folks to interview. Say they saw a new flying saucer last night. That sounds like it might take you all day. I hope not. I'll call you as soon as I get through, okay? Okay, Joe. I guess a reporter's life can be pretty hectic. You never know when a new story will break. I was just thinking. Maybe Derek would like to go swimming, if you let us borrow the car. Betty would at that. Uh, if you don't think Alice was mine. a terrible father. You don't know Alice. I won't be able to keep him apart. He's like, I was just at this petrol station. Cup. What does it call Hey, what's going on in town anyway, mister? A convention or something? What? Well, those clothes you're wearing. I talked to a guy this morning who was wearing the same kind of outfit. Maybe the guy you're looking for, huh? You spoke to him? What did he tell you? Where did he go? Hey, what's the matter with you? Hey, take your hands off me. You will tell me what he said to you. Oh, why should I? Hey, who do you think you are, take... anyway? Answer me, or I destroy you. He came in with a dog tag. Wanted to know about the address, and I told him how to find it. Where? Where did you send him? It was an address on the first drive. 1243, I think. Tell me how to get there. Just drive right down the there, about three blocks. That's, that's address. 1243, it's only a few doors up. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to do Just get all the flesh out of it. Oh. That is the cleanest kill I've ever seen. Uh, don't damage it. We're going to need it for a bit of break on so hard, Derek. That is, unless you want us to go through the windshield every time. I have never piloted a vehicle like this before. I will try again. Uh, this time, pull in there. That's Alice's house. Am I called myself a pilot when I drive? Oh, much better. Wait, Betty. Yes, Derek? What is it? I just wanted to say, wait. When I came to your place, it was because of... Yes? I had just arrived here. I, I did not know where else to go, but... Everything was so strange to me, I... I'm glad you came. Yeah. Even so is Grandpa. Died. Without any family or friends, you wouldn't like it at a hotel or any place like that. Come on. I hope Alice can dig up some swim trunks for you. I don't want any swim trucks that were dug up. Hi there. Who is the stranger? Uh, Joe couldn't make it, Alice. I talked Derek into coming along. Uh, Derek, this is Alice. 
Daring. Hey, I like that. Come on in. The water's fine. Well, we need a pair of swim trunks. I couldn't find any at my house. No problem at all. He can wear a pair of my father's. The folks are gone today, and so are the servants. We have the whole place to ourselves. Uh, where are the trunks? Hanging up right over there. <laughs> they look a little large for you, Derek. Or well, maybe you better put them on with some clothespins. They just too, happen to have a point there. I guess it's safe to try them on anyway. Over there at the bathhouse. What was that? Don't worry, I'll get it. That is what I wanted to tell you about. The reason I came to your place when I did not know where else to go. Heck, I thought it was a 50 cent piece at least. Like, that looks like who it is. It's Sparky's. Sparky's dog tag. Well, Sparky was two towns well, away. Where did you find it? When I first arrived, I was with some others. One of them destroyed a small creature. Later, I found that among the remains. You mean somebody killed Sparky? Oh, no, Derek, it can't be true. Why would anyone want to kill Sparky? Betty, I'm sorry. Tell me who did it, Derek. They are gone now. Only I remained. But I don't understand. Where is Sparky? Will you take me to where it happened? I'll get dressed and come with you. No, Alice, please. You stay here. Now I don't feel like we'll swimming at all. Don't cockbot me, Alice. Yes, it is. How's it going, s'mores? <laughs> well, well, so Derek didn't yeah, come into town alone. If you're looking for him, he isn't here now. He and Betty, uh, that's my granddaughter, they went over to the Woodwards. Why don't you go on over there? No doubt they'd be glad to have you joined in the fun. Yes. You have to reveal everything. How do I go there? The Woodwards are straight on down the street, about three miles, just before you get to the park. Got the biggest house in the block down there. You can't miss it. Where are you fellows from, anyway? He's gonna I don't believe I've skeleton. seen uniforms like yours before. It's probably gonna kill the woman hmm, that's the military there. secret, eh? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Derek didn't say where he's from either. Just shoot him to shut him up. You're probably anxious to see him. She didn't change out of her bathing suit or anything. Gotta love California. Where is he, Derek? At the time. You don't mean those old bones. You can see they've been here for a very long time. No. It was among these remains that I found the metal inscription. But this couldn't be Sparky. I know. He must have been here and his collar tag fell off. That's all. You are not Don't familiar with the focusing disintegrator ray? The what? Oh, nothing, nothing. It I'm projects an either. isolated beam which separates the molecules of living material in chain reaction. All but the solids, the skeletal braces. Horrible. And you mean Sparky? But... Over there is what happened when the same beam was aimed at me. It missed and that is what is left. Good heavens, Derek. You've got to explain it to me. Why were they doing this? Where were they from? How, how did you? We... Don't talk very well. Betty, tell me. What is the most advanced form of transportation that you know? What do you mean? What's that got to do with it? Please, tell me, Betty. Well, airplanes. Jet airplanes, I guess. Why? And where do they go? From where to where? To anywhere in the world. And that's all? Where else is there to go? I should not have brought you here. Is it about a new secret weapon? Something you and the others invented and then they turned against you? It, it is something like that. I guess I should try to find someone I can explain it to. 
Maybe Professor Simpson at the college. He's head of the science department. He will... What is it, Derek? Betty, when you learn where I'm from, well, you may not understand, but I hope it will not make any difference between us, because... I don't care where you're you from. I don't understand all this, but somehow I feel that I've always known you. That we've never been apart. I... You have... Let us go to the professor you speak of. We have to pass the house first so I can change. What was that? Did you hear a sound? No. Only the wind. What sort of sound? Nothing. My imagination alarmed me. Come, let us be on our way. Oh, they just love Jesus cave. Well, hello. What can I do for you? You are alone? Another man for the be. woman. Where are the others? The ones who are with you? Why do you want to know that? Tell me where they are. Say, who are you anyway? Never mind. Just tell me. Well, they left here. They're gone. Where did they go? I think you better get out of here before I call the police. You will call no one. You will do as I say. That's what you think, mister. Yes. I said you will call yes. no one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Where did that fuck come from? This is a very equal opportunity murder. Hard to joke about it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was trying. <laughs> Grandpa was asleep, so I left a note so I'll know where we went. If I know Grandpa, we'll be back before he even wakes up. Is the skill supposed to sink down? Yeah. Well, he's practicing being a hobo. Mm, hello. Hello, Gramps. This is Joe. Team. Betty there? So, she and Derek went out over to the Woodward's pool. Uh, you could probably reach her over there. Derek? Who's Derek? Oh, you haven't met him yet, have you? Uh, he rented Bud's old room this morning. Seems like a nice fellow. Oh? Well, the reason I called, I wanted to tell Betty I stumbled onto a double murder story that may keep me longer, but... Well, after I get the story into the paper, I'll, I'll go on over to Alice's and see her there. A double murder, Joe? When was it? Where? We're not sure yet, Gramps. There's only a couple of skeletons. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. We're gonna get busy now, Gramps. I'll talk to you later. the coroner gonna find? Joe! Joe, I just found a note. Joe! Hello, hello. By golly, you missed them at the pool, huh? Sure am sorry. Uh, Betty left me a note. Now they've gone over to the college to see Professor Stop Simpson. Stop it, dude! Stop revealing everything! Professor Simpson. This is his office, but he hasn't come in yet. Well, let's wait for him at the faculty parking lot. It's just around the building. You may wait here if you like. No, thank you. We'll wait outside. Like all the way outside? Good morning, Hilda. Oh, good morning, Professor Simpson. Have the aptitude questionnaires come in? They're probably still and mimeographing. I'll go down and see if they're ready. Uh, 
That's Professor Simpson's office. The third door down. Uh, he's head of the science department. Well, that looks like Professor Simpson's car right there. He must be somewhere else on campus. We'd better go back to his office and wait. Hello? This is Simpson, science department. I... Put that down. What is the meaning of this? Do as I say. Who are you? Where is he? The one who came with information for you. Who? You are making some mistake. I am making no mistake. Where did he go? Out there? I don't know what you're talking about. You will speak to no one else. Yes, I know. He came in right after you left. Crap, it's ah! hard to be quiet with all these skeletons. Oh, oh dear, a skeleton. Oh, some kind of foolish joke. I'm not going to keep a job where this sort of thing goes on. <laughs> She's worried about her job? I want to believe what I'm thinking isn't true, but... It was a focusing disintegrator. Then... Whoever killed Sparky... But you said they'd gone. For some reason, they want to stop me. Somehow, we were traced here. I want you to get in your vehicle and go to a place where you will be safe. But how could they... Oh, Grandpa. Bloody. I left a note for Grandpa. They must have... Oh, Derek. I will go to your place. No, they may be waiting for you there. I can call Grandpa. Hello. Oh, Grandpa, thank heaven. Derek, he's all right. Betty, what is it, child? What's the matter? Grandpa, was somebody there? Somebody you told we were at the college? Oh, yes, a friend of Derek's. Uh, did he find you okay? He's a murderer. He killed Professor Simpson, Grandpa. He's after Derek, and he's probably on the way back to the house right now. Murderer? But uh, are the police... Don't argue, Grandpa. Just get out of there. We're going to the City Hall Police Station right now. Meet us there. Don't worry about me, Betty. I'll leave right away. Goodbye, honey. I better call the police and let them know we're coming. With what weapons are they equipped? With guns. Why? Guns that emit what? Bullets. What do you mean? Bullets. Centuries old invention against... Hello, operator. Give me the police department. Hurry. I'd have so much fun with that gun. I'd be like shooting the couch. I'd be shooting everything. Movies like this. Does the couch have skeletons? Is it good? <laughs> find out. Yes, we'll be there right away. Thank you. Well, this Betty, tell me how to go there. I want you to go somewhere Why else. Why did you have to get into the phone booth with her? We're safer than the city hall. The police said they they're going to have armed space. guards waiting for us on the front steps. I told them we'd be right there. Right, Let's hurry. Sneak out the back. Dude, run! Halt! Well, what do you want? I spoke to my granddaughter. You're not getting any help from me. Did they return here? Tell me. I have no reason to harm your granddaughter. But if you do not tell me, so I'll... You can kill you Derek? No reason Why to should harm you care about him? Yet. Why shouldn't I? Why do you want to kill him? I... It is important only that he leave here, that I return him to where he belongs. And where is that? From where he escapes. Africa. I need not harm anyone if you tell me where he is. If you do not, there will be many deaths. Beginning with you, now. He's not here, he's in the center of the city. Where? Take me there. You will pilot the vehicle. Go, be swift. Pilot. Go pilot. I will pilot this vehicle. Alice? Oh, pilot. 
Betty. That's when you put the anybody seat here, on, but not his. That's a cute hat. Holy mackerel! Oh yeah, you saw her naked. You think the chip <laughs> might have been a phony, Mac? Don't think so, Harry. The girl who called seemed to know what she was talking about. <laughs> Another call, Mac. Through. Joe Rogers, reporter on the Daily News. He's on the way over. Found another skeleton. Only this time at the bottom of a swimming pool. The city hall is just up ahead in the next block. Oh, I hope Grandpa's there waiting for us safe and sound. What are you doing? Be silent. Continue ahead. Did you... You'll be safe. He's after me, not you. There was just like ten police officers just standing out front of the police station. And just like a woman, she doesn't listen. Slipped off that way. Come on. Stay undercover. Stay outside. She's over on Hebrew show. <laughs> Thank the Lord you're safe. I just came from Alice's. There was a skeleton in the pool. Alice? I... Oh no! We came to meet Grandpa. The murderer came in the car with him. What? Yeah, she's not very distraught about that at all. But how did you get mixed up in this? Since he killed Sparky out by the old mine. He's an insane killer, Joe. And he forced Gramps to drive here? Where is Gramps? Is he okay? Yes, he's... Well, there he is, trying to get across the street. You stay put. I'll go over and help him across. <laughs> I, I like this more. You get my odd references. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Go into the building. That is the safest place. This woman is clearly an alien. I, how is... Here on the sidewalk, drops of blood. Betty, go into the building. I got a white <laughs> Give me the weapon you have, Derek. Slowly. He got shot One in the sudden arm, so move and I slay you out. both. Derek? What does Derek do as he says? Do what he says. Get in! You will take me to a man of surgery to remove the metal pellets from my flesh. That is not possible. Yes, we I must. Cannot. We must do as he says. I know a doctor's office. We'll take him there. She is very wise. Now go! <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> and that's the way it happened. Next thing I knew, he was trying to fire out the window at Betty and Derry. I swerved the car and... See, where is Betty? That's funny. She must be around someplace. But the car's gone. They must have left without me. Well, don't worry, Gramps. You'll get an That's escort cool. home. I'm going to phone the story into the paper and then drive out to the old mine Betty mentioned. The old mine? What's out there? I don't know. Well, That's where she said Sparky was killed by the guy. Sparky, our dog? She didn't tell me about that. Hey, Mac, over here. 
blood spots on the sidewalk. And where's that car that was parked here? That's it. That's how the killer got away. Why, why are you pointing In the our gun car, at everybody? Then Betty and Derek, they must have been kidnapped. You've got to do something. You've got to find them. Look, Victor, that's Dr. Brown's there. He looks like he's leaving. Stop him. Block his path. Is there some emergency? I have a house call to make. Office hours don't begin for another hour. Go inside, all of you. I say, what is this? He's holding a gun on us, Dr. Brown. We had to bring him here. He wants bullets removed. I see. I'm afraid I cannot be of any help. You will need hospital facilities for anything else. Be silent and get inside. You will remove the pellets here. Now. Leave these people alone, Thor. Where is our ship? I will take you there. No, it is gone. Do what I say. Derek, please. Doctor, you must try. I want to live. This man is surgery and he's walking. <laughs> In a hospital facility, he's got you a have full to lie down here. I will prepare an anesthetic. The pain will be great. I will not be drunk. Oh, simply remove the pellets. Oh, Both of you, sit there. I shall keep you covered. Take heed. One treacherous move and they pay with their lives. Oh, he turned now into proceed. a pirate. Take heed. Okay. And go no farther. You can run away now. Tell me why you have been searching for me. It must have been important for you to have... The Gargana to be raised here. You could not be allowed to run free. But the specimen reaction was negative. It was verified positive after you escaped. The captain should have let me kill you when I had a chance. And why didn't he? I saw him stop you when you fired at me. Because... Because he just learned that... You are the son of our leader. <gasps> no, we Papa? Are we supposed to be in love with any of these characters? I'm supposed to be in love with any not to be killed why did you fire at me in the city your life or death was put in my hands a traitor does not deserve to be our next leader the only reason you do not fire now is to force attention to your wounds when that is done proceed Antiseptic must be applied to your wounds, and you will need bandages. I'll get them. Back to the police. In his present condition, he cannot remain conscious long. Why? By the time we return with the police, too. he should be completely helpless. Derek, what was he talking about? The Gargon to be raised here, and, and you, the son of the leader. You said you didn't know your father. 
I did not know of the things he said. I thought they'd gone. I wanted to forget them forever. But now I know. They plan to return. Wait a minute. I'm going with you. Where? To the old mine shaft. How did you hear about that? The old fellow inside. Hey, He's been telling us dogs. everything he can think of. Mentioned that's where you were going. Uh, okay, uh, hop oh. in. Maybe something will turn up out there. Maybe we'll all get shafted. Uh, 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 you're in here? I know you are. Is he the one? I'll or find you. Yeah, why well, is he hurting more now than he was when he got shot? Yeah, that's the question. My nurse, Miss Moss. She'll be arriving for office hours. I can hear you. I can hear you breathing. You cannot escape me. I'll find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. I'll find you. There you are. No, that's just a ship. I've reached you. This is Dr. Brandt. Where are you, doctor? There's an emergency patient here. I've done all I can. For Listen, Miss Moss. He's a murderer. He held hostages at gunpoint to force me to remove bullets. We were fortunate in escaping. You must get out of there. A murderer? We're sending the police, but if you treat it, no, he could revive at any moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, get enough to call it. Uh, I'll leave immediately. Yes. You will come with me. Put that down. Miss Moss. Miss Moss oh, what is it? Drop it, I said. That was the best recovery what do you ever. Want? You will help me to escape. Go out. That vehicle. Is that how you arrived? Yes, that's my car. Get in. You will take me where I say. If you disobey, you will be killed. That toy gun? No. The police are on the way, Dr. Brand. They... It's no use. I was too late. They're gone. Thor has escaped? But how no, could he? Not. You said he would be oh, helpless that Thor Without aid. Thor. But my nurse, she didn't know. She oh, bandaged him. Happen? Gave him an injection. He revived. Oh, no. Well, we've got to tell the police. They might be able to do something. I'll tell them. I'll tell them what happened. Down. 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 I'm pregnant. Oh, this drama Don't will be worry, so Derek. good on Cassie Salad. Don't be caught. They're sure to find him eventually. It is what I know is coming here. The Gargan. 
they are small when young, but they can attain the, the size of this building in no more than a day. But can't you stop them? The only chance is to duplicate the operation of the disintegrator. How can that be done? The men of science here might be able to do it if they could get Thor's as a model. <laughs> the men of science. If only there is enough time. Notice he didn't say women of science. I'm sorry, Ray. I'm a woman of science. You know, I don't get this guy. Animals are humans. He just seems to like killing. There's more to it than that, Joe. There's something behind this. Something we don't understand. It's Weapon just a used, skeleton. It's unheard of. Blasting flesh right off the bones. Look at that tree over there. Used it for target practice by the looks of it. I don't know. Let's take a look in the old cave. Oh no. They got to be the sacrifice. Where are we going? You've got to tell me. It is not far now. Look, you can't escape. The police will find rough. you. Possibly they will. I was thinking the same thing about that cave. <laughs> cave. With, with you as hostage and me with this. How long do you think you can hold out that way? It. Long enough. The same scene. There will not be too long that to wait. That is fucking high! This is Highway 1 in California. Hey! Bring your flash bulbs up here. This tunnel is black as pitch. Okay, I'll be right up. <laughs> I'll wait inside where it's black as pitch. Ah! And the first sacrifice has happened. Intruder already. No! I won't let you kill anyone. I see you do not value your life. He's getting away. Follow him. No. Dare refuse. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot him? Badly? I don't think so. Just bruised. Oh, thank heavens it's over. It was like a nightmare. I, I wish it was over. What do you mean? Back in the cave where he shot at me. Some kind of man-eating monster. Poor Mac, the guy I was with. I could hear the thing tearing him apart. He was dead in a few seconds. Oh, how horrible. What could it have been? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm afraid the nightmare has just ah, begun. Okay. <laughs> the man guilty of these strange killings now Clap lies mute in dog. confinement at General Hospital, where he is being treated for minor injuries. Authorities plan to transfer him to city jail tonight. The fantastic murder weapon he used has not been located. Fantastic Mystery still surrounds the disappearance of a man-eating beast said to have been in an abandoned mine shaft outside the city limits. These newsreel shots were made immediately after the city police surrounded the cave and found it completely empty. Evidence in the cave appeared to confirm the report that a monster of some sort had been shackled there, but had somehow attained strength enough to pull itself loose and escape. Groups of armed volunteers have set out in search of the creature, hoping to track it down and destroy it. Meanwhile... You know, this dog can walk on its hind legs. Thor crashed just below here. 
If that disintegrator is down there, I'm going to find it. Derek, I just thought. The monster that escaped from the cave. It must have been there at the same time we were. What I can't figure out is... Why did it escape when it did? Why not sooner? It would not have been large enough, but the man it consumed increased its growth rate. Then... How big would it be now? That's there is no telling. Man. You stay here. Keep the door closed. The beast is gay. is that we were put on places far, far apart. <laughs> I'll stupidity. What is it like where you're from? Babies are bred and raised like livestock, parented by the most perfect specimens of our I race. Think we are most stupid. If you become ill, you are put to death, she... as are the old. You won't be going back ever, will you? I shall make the earth my home, and I shall never, never leave it. But your dad wants you. They're gonna break into song. Wait. No, you oh, gotta press lips there. There you go. Yes, now? Was fuck to own the business. The moon has come from behind the cloud. I turn into a werewolf now. Derek. The cricket. It's so quiet. Is this pose like that? <laughs> the god is like a lobster monster. There it is, Derek. It was under the rock. Ah. Rick. It's just the shadow. Get it. Get it. Oh, get it. It's get a lobster. It. Uh, run away from the lobster. Get a move on, Derek. Here, I'll drive. Like, just go on our spot. It was boiled in paint, too. It's the most terrible thing I've ever seen. Why wouldn't the gun work? Must have been damaged somehow when Thor was thrown in the crash. You said that that thing would keep growing. If it does 
What can stop us from wrecking the city? And I may be able to repair the damaged part of the disintegrator. If I can, we will stop the Gargan and give the Earth a weapon against invasion as well. Where if only, only I can get it to work. Meanwhile, on the Phantom. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Only a coyote. Rab's dog. The endless stush. There it is! Bad. Uh, it's got the claw. It's attacked by the claw. Attacked by a lobster. Do you think yeah. you can fix it, Derry? I have found the damaged part. Let me touch it. Uh, well, we're just starting to get the fears of and the claw, the, power to the redness, it does. or whatever it claw it is. Unless I can figure out an energy substitute. Maybe yes. it won't come into the city, Derek. It will come to the city. For more food, if nothing else. Oh, here's our real hero. This is Johnson at Station 86. Out by the hills, due northeast. That's, There's some kind of a monster. It suddenly bobbed up and seemed to touch the sky. She must have been. I have not been drinking. No, I can't see it now. It must be behind the hills. But I'm getting out of here. <laughs> the few I'm remaining the survivors of yet. the search party that was attacked <laughs> report that the beast they encountered was many times the size they expected. This guy's this is always that the on the monster television. has some strange power of rapid growth. An exact description was. We have a bulletin just, just received. According to a report not yet confirmed, a beast of seemingly gigantic proportions has been sighted lurking in the hills due northeast of town. City officials have called for military help. Planes and troops are expected to arrive within the next two hours. Meanwhile, citizens should take refuge in places of safety. Cellars, bomb shelters, as directed by civil defense administrators. I repeat. Derek, they say it's coming. It has grown. It's just northeast of town. I'd better wake up Grandpa. We'll all go down to the cellar. I was just cellar. looking at this you peculiar plant. There is a chance I can do something yet. What? What are you looking at? Those wires. Going from pole to pole. They carry the source of energy used for illumination and power in the homes. Yes, electricity. And the wires are spread throughout the city, are they not? I mean, you mean come on, you might Derek. be able to make the disintegrator work by hooking it to... Possibly. If the power were great enough, the only chance, so I've got to try it. I can help, Derek. I'm going with you. Oh, uh, what's going on? You're not going uh, anywhere. What's all the commotion about? Grandpa, Derek and I are going out to the edge of town. Wait for us here. First, I must put the disintegrator back together and then find proper tools. I can load the car with every tool we have in the garage. All right, then. Let us go. with Betty. What makes you think Betty's in the cellar? She's out somewhere with Derek again. Everybody's supposed to take shelter. The monster from the cave, it's approaching the town. Huh? Then that's where they must have gone, those crazy kids. Joe, we've got to try and find them. You mean they... Come on, then, let's go. Derek, look! <laughs> Praise me! Okay, it's no longer a lobster. That's a living water. human being with claws. Time to call the Power Rangers. Mr. Ghost Power Rangers! Operator, this is an emergency. You must connect me with the city electrical generating plant. Hurry! 
you were just going to call power and just attack a lot. Generating plan. <laughs> Hello? Please listen to me. You must do as I say. The monster is coming towards the town. I'm at North Ridge Road. Obey my orders. We have orders. a weapon here that might be able to stop it if we can connect it to the power line. Who is this? I'll have to check with... You have to believe me. There's no time to check with anybody. But you're a woman. I can't. How am I supposed to believe you? Out there, that looks like him. Derek is climbing down a pole, and look what's coming. We're Clapping not going to make it pole. in time. <laughs> Pull that in, sir. <laughs> you got the pole as you asked. We scored the power, and it's ready. Hello? Turn the power back on. Okay. It is not enough. It is not enough power. Can you boost the power any? Please, it's not enough. I'll try to speed up the generators. Derek seems to have some kind of weapon, but it's not doing anything. Ah! The slowest moving lobster. That lobster's really pain. If only there were more power, Betty. Is there if any way to generate more power? We've got to have more. I could join in more circuits, but it may blow oh. off the line. Try anything. It's our only chance. Poor guy's whipped. I just met her on the phone. Oh my goodness. Uh, I want to see a lobster's coat. <laughs> and that's why I do all the work. You can turn the weapon over to the scientist now. It is too late. You mean they're coming? Already? Your people are here for you. I must leave. They will take care of you. But, Derek, you promised. You said... I know what I must do. You must not interfere. <laughs> Betty, thank Find heavens it, you're all right. That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. What radio station is he listening to? German channel. Somehow I feel I've always known you. But we've never been apart. The NPR? You are the son of our leader. You won't be going back ever. Will you? How did he get a weapon like that? It makes me think of what the killer used. She looks like Wednesday. It is. The same thing. But who is he? Where did he come from anyway? In some place none of us has ever heard of before, Joe. What do you mean? Tallahassee? Clear from another planet. Far out in space. Hey, wait a minute. Betty, this is no time to be joking. I'm not joking. Where do you think the monster came from? And the man who was doing all the killing and, and the unheard of weapon he used? But how did they... They came in a, a spaceship of some sort. Whatever those people told you they saw last night. I'd love to the look flying saucer? Of a spaceship. And I thought those people were seeing things. They weren't. Derek looked into the sky just before he left here. Somehow... <laughs> you can tell <laughs> more on the way. One, two, four, three. He must be in the house. There's our car. Oh, Derek. She is covered in love. I am Torgo. I watch the house while the master is away. Goodbye, Betty. <laughs> no, Derek, no. You are Joe. I want you to take me somewhere in your vehicle. What makes you think I will? You refuse to take me? That's right. I'm staying right here. You will do as I say. No, Derek, this isn't you. Do not no, interfere, Betty. I beg you. More than that. Get in. 
trying to eliminate the competition here. Take me to where they are keeping the prisoner. The killer? He's at General Hospital, but... Then take me there. Betty! Trust me, Betty. Trust me. Trust me. Smoke went broke. Derek seemed like such a nice fellow. Grandpa, no, I'm staying awake now. he promised me something. He promised he would never leave. That he would never go back. Can't keep I don't believe forever. he wants to break his promise to me. I'm not going to let him. What can you do about it, honey? I think I know where he's going. Out by the old mine. I want to go there. Oh, I want to see him once more. Broke. He's hurt gotcha. you enough, Betty. Grandpa, please let me go. I must. Betty, you're not going to listen to me if I say no. You haven't listened to anybody this whole movie. A red light district hospital. The prisoner is in this building. It looks like they haven't transferred him to city jail yet. What are you planning to do? Never mind. Just get out of the car and walk in front of me. Not move. I will take Is the prisoner. Get their guns. Anything? They have the shoes. Hand them to Wait, me. Wait, what kind of shoes are those? He's wearing many shoes. Air pumps. You face the wall. Keep your hands above your head. This is a car. Don't there is no wall. They used to drink at the hospital. I was stupid, Thor. Very stupid. But that is over. We are returning to meet the ships. Together. Why do you let them live? Kill them! There is no need. They will be dead soon enough. Along with everything else on this planet. I am Go. already dead. Look! That's what he meant. Look how bright time it is. It is I think no one told time. the sun it was nighttime. Ships of an alien source are approaching from the sky. Radio contact has been attempted but cannot be established. Now? Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown enemy. Oh no, it's just dramas. In other news, this squirrel wears a cowboy hat. How weird. you think he was coming here? Because they're coming. Told me they'd be coming. Told me he wouldn't go back with them. That he'd stay. That he wanted to stay. Betty, let me take you back home. No, Grandpa, look, here comes Joe's car. Come to Joe. Damn, it takes up two parking spots. Betty, Gramps, what are you doing here? Why do you concern yourself with them? Destroy them! Why, Thor? They Destroy cannot change them. what is going to happen. What is going to happen, Derek? You must understand. Yeah, don't you must come to all. Sooner to some. Later to others. The moon's on The fire. guide ship is about to land. We must go to meet it. Your promise, Derek. Don't you remember your promise? I have not forgotten it. No, Derek. You called that the guide ship. 
guide ship was made and it looks like there are a hundred more aerograph. still in the sky what are they going to do Derek told me the other ships are loaded with thousands of those horrible creatures like the one Derek killed today why are they bringing them here to raise for food a safe distance from their own people and they don't care what happens to us Derek cared What's the point with these he wanted pets? wanted to make the Earth his home. He promised he would never leave. Yeah, you keep saying that. We've oh, heard that, Betty. Yeah. <laughs> just repeating yourself. Well, she wants something. Can you blame her? I would have used the disintegrator on them. But it will not function without energy supply. It was damaged when you crashed. I had to bluff with it. It is just as well. They will be the first victims of the Gargan herds. So you were able to bring him back, Thor. He brought me. I am sorry I <laughs> acted the way I did. I am ready to take my punishment. There will be no punishment, Man, my son. You all hating this is petty. Sparta. Just keeping the whole shit alive. You are my father? I am. I have watched your progress since you were born. You have excelled in all fun. things. I was most disappointed <laughs> to learn that you like were deserted. Me. I came this trip hoping I would find you would you return. Like American. Has what I have done not disqualified me? Am I still to... You are back. That is all that matters. Your mistakes were made because of that book. It blurred your mind. But only temporarily. How is it you are able to leave the planet? Will not the government structure collapse in your absence? We will return immediately, as soon as the Gargans are unloaded from the fleet of ships. The people are unaware that I am gone. Yes, we must leave quickly. If your absence oh, were discovered, it would likely spark the beginning of a revolution. I am not the only one who has that book, Father. Yes, I know. And you will help in tracking down others who may have such books. Yes, I... I see the fleet is approaching. Oh, they are flying from radio signals from the guide ship, are they not? Let me be the one to direct them in for landing. Captain, are the ships close enough to receive their landing signals? Momentarily, but... Then go below, Derek. You will bring them in. Eat hearty, people, for tonight we dine in hell. went in first and closed the entranceway. Whatever's in the sky, they're getting mighty close. Derek has some plan. He's not doing what they want him to, I'm sure. I have a plan Master to control to fleet. Master control to fleet. Increase speed. Set flight pattern to Derek, minus point I zero eight. You. Increase speed. Open this hatch at once. The ships seem to be converging and increasing their speed. They cannot land. He has a plan to have them land, but crash! They're coming right at us! Derek's doing it! That's what he planned! But he's inside there! He'll be killed too! Get down inside the cave! Please think of what you are doing! Turn the ships around before it is too late! Hold, course, steady. Of course, steady. God. I shall fuck? make the earth my home, and I shall never, never leave it. Oh no, he's Jesus! He's Jesus, man! 
God turned him something to Jesus. Jesus Christ. But what about my dog? <laughs> the dog was meant to die. Oh. All right, Rav, you can bring in a, a loud dog now. <laughs> mm. He's Teenagers not willing from to. from outer space. But they were not teenagers. There was only Wait, one teenager. Guy. This didn't have to do anything with teenagers. <laughs> or outer space. <laughs> I want to point out something rather quickly. The girl looked like E.T. in most of the movie. Yes, she did. I thought she was the alien in all the what the dubs. I thought she was the alien. Yeah, that woman makes most of the way. <laughs> Keep talking around, but you will fuck her. What I want? <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> You would stick a pineapple in her, wouldn't you, Rob? No, Remy, I can only let you. What me? You're the only I one I'm willing to let you. I All right, I think I think we'll we'll end it early. Um, when it comes out of the bug, it's just a flesh wound. This Boris crush. He'll oh, be stone he's, cold in he, a moment. He became Jesus. He second. came in Jesus. What? He became Jesus. He came Jesus. He became. Oh, he became. <laughs> well, there's could... another movie. Is there we another movie? No, that I said we we've got another movie done. Another one to check off of our list of bad movies. Wait, I really Is, tell you did, we had another. Was movie, it explained though? like ever why there was a lobster? Yes. It, it wasn't a lobster. It was a gorgon. Gorgon. But, but, but why? The because they what they do the is the gorgon are the cows of the alien race, and they needed a pasture, so they decided to use Earth as a pasture for the gorgons. Pasture. I mean, that's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel molested by this movie. How is that possible? I mean, they, couldn't they have eaten hu humans? And yes, Hebrew is on. Hebrew's been on for the past hour and a half, pretty much. <laughs> Which I've been wondering the... why. That's that's where Philo Fire is right now. <laughs> Wait, Philo Fire ditches for Hebrew? How they're eating yeah, the yeah, she did. Yeah, well, you know, there's 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 some loyalty. Heck, I, look at me. I'm watching both of them. I mean, I'm not. I don't have his his sound on, but you got your own loyal house. He's up. The Audi City. <laughs> so, um, so the next we got Monday. Monday, what the dub? I don't think I have a uh, um, that on the schedule yet. So we'll get that on the schedule. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. We'll get that on Enjoy the schedule. It. Then we need a Wednesday movie, so I have to go find. Find us a Wednesday movie, uh, and then on Saturday, um, oh, we got crying. a new movie coming Saturday. We have uh, the pirate movie. Looking forward to this movie. This is a newer movie. Aye, aye. 1982. Remy, you seem way too awake. You seem way too awake. Remy, it's a musical next Saturday. A complete <laughs> silence. Musical. Total and silence. Yay. Yeah, it's a musical about pirates. Yep. I have a feeling there's no pirates we, in it, but uh... <laughs> I think we have some movies we can watch. We can watch Friend Wednesday. We can watch The King of the Zombies, um, Cat Women of the Moon, Midnight Manhunt. Is on the <laughs> That's list. Why Inter... fucking titles, man. Inter What's Sanctum? with the titles? There's you some want other something movies. better? Oh, so he's chilly. Chilly? Chilly. You There's haven't one logged one into one Minecraft one. in a while. Roxy has a giant. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that. I'm taking it there. 
This is another movie that we haven't we haven't watched. Uh, Men in Black. Oh, Zontar, the thing from Venus. The thing from Venus. <laughs> what is this? fucking hell, Ben? You're so. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> doggy. You're not as awake as Rini is right now. Doggo. He's been going on for the past hour. <laughs> Where is he? What the? Uh... And he was. I'll be honest. I've seen worse movies than that. We've had some worse movies than that. Yeah, one. that was disappointing. Yeah, I think so. Maybe fall asleep. <laughs> the, that one. That one. I mean, so if you were to Nothing, say, we reach well, our peak way too fast. The moment we saw the kite, the kite bomb <laughs> dropping. That I was way. The, the we reach our peak. We burn down. We jump the shark. Everything happened on that movie. That was um um the the. the the Sound of the West? Oh. Gone with the West. That's with the, the West. only movie that I know the name of. Gone with the West. <laughs> so that's on top it's with West. like Vincent Price. Gone with the West. Gone with the West. The yeah, Remy, you didn't watch it, did you? Gone with the West? Oh, yeah, we watched. See, that yeah. one wasn't supposed to be as good of a movie. We watched it on Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, that was a Wednesday movie. Wednesday movies, I, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't pre-screen them as much as I should. And so Wednesdays, I try to make a Saturday movie a much better movie than a Wednesday movie. But that one, that one just happened to be gold. So like, let me let me play this for you, Remy. So there is a cowboy, a Native American woman who speaks Spanish. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> They, uh, a, they do a Pearl Harbor in a 9-11 combine into a no town. This is going with the West is the only movie stream I've downloaded on my PC. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's how good that is. Uh, that, that, that movie's gold. That, that movie was hilariously <laughs> dumb. I, I'll tell you, the... My favorite part was the, the the brawl, that woman brawl, where they like you're so you're you're so used to women like slapping each other or like wrestling each other to the ground or whatever, and this one they're like throwing chairs on each other. I mean, that's a, that looks more realistic. Yeah, it was hilarious. One girl went through the window of the bar, like, and the other one is like, "Here, have my beer," and they just keep following sense. it. And it all yeah. starts with they're supermaning over the bed. The, the, they the, the push a fucking horse. They push Our, the horse down. The, there was a horse too? Yes, oh. the aggressive cuddle fight. Oh, That's a good way to put to it. Be bold. Or how their plan to destroy the city was in three phases. The first one was to try to um, um, Wiley Coyote a rock down the mountain. <laughs> that was the first one. The second one was somehow, somehow they milled all the wood they needed to build a uh, a catapult, a trebuchet, so that they could shoot rocks into the city. <laughs> and then they used a kite filled with TNT. <laughs> what? They, kind of like... they use advanced military warfare against a town of cowboys. Attached to a string. You can do it. Attached to a string. We don't know. I think God was pulling the strings on that. Too. Because the woman was just the moving. Very... Right. Yes, yes, okay. yes, you are. I need some Looking for dinner. I'm going to get some dinner because I'm hungry as fuck and I'm not as fat as I used to. So it's time to get fat. Are you really? No, well, I, tell you yeah, what, I, I have I, lost I, eight kilos. No. Eight? Keep it up, though. Which I'm about to gain again just by eating a fucking eight kilos. Chicken. What is that, like a, oh, a pound no, and a no half? No way you're going to gain this no, fucking no, no, Go to gym, right? It's a lot more. Go outside. So eight kilos is 17 pounds. 17 pounds. That's really good. You're not allowed. Yeah. You're not allowed. I'm about to eat a full rotisserie chicken on myself. Don't fucking touch the chicken. <laughs> we know what I happens when you touch a chicken. Yeah. Really, we need to rewatch that movie. 
We, maybe we should make this a Saturday what movie, movie and watch it again. Yeah, let's make it a Saturday movie. That's too, that's too good movie? to go to waste. <laughs> oh, right, oh, we'll, the, the ball? Oh, oh. We'll, yeah. We'll, Why? We'll, we'll, we'll this you want to watch it especially for me? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need this, Remy. You need it because now we have information that or, makes you know, the movie a hundred times better. Why don't we? Why don't we make it a like a Saturday matinee? What do you mean? We watch it early. Oh no! No no no! That way, Remy can actually be awake. It has to be either the main one. Way. We need to watch something before and that as the late one because that's way too much. That movie is way too much. Well, I, we could. So wait, hold on. That that movie. Let me see. How 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 long is that movie? Um, two hours. As long as my dick. Bring me. We talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> the movie is an hour and a half long. Yeah. I mean, that That's can't how long be it is. anything but <laughs> like what we watch. We we'd have yeah. to make that we'd have to make that a. Well, what we'll do is we'll do something a little different. Why don't why don't I um, premiere the movie, and we'll watch it at uh, uh, like a, a noon time on Saturday. At the time that Remy is actually awake. Yeah. Around six. That sounds good. Brent, noon, noon, noon Eastern. No, noon is way too soon. Uh, let's do it start. before the movie, so an hour and a half before the main movie. Okay, okay. So you want to do you want to do a separate stream before before our our normal stream? So at like six, Remy's the Remy's not going to be sleeping at all then. Yeah. Oh my she's, god. She's going to enjoy it in four K. The this not sleeping at all. If, <laughs> if we watch it before, that means you're going to have to wake up at one o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do that no. for me? We're, we're deciding this later. I'm gonna get my rotisserie chicken okay. before it's over. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Let's have a I'm about uh, to yell at you. We'll find something. Heck, we could do it on a Friday. I don't give a shit. You decide. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Wait, also on Friday. I, yeah, I think I'm kind on Friday. Sure. We've reached right. some of the time. Well, I'm thank you, really everyone, for coming. You, you guys have a good night. Oh, Rav my. apparently just left. <laughs> Slammed the door in our for face. For food. For the chicken. <laughs> food. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Great treat. Yeah.